You have no idea how much I wanted to clickbait this video by calling it I'm in trouble or something. I might still do some thumb with a with a thumbnail, but people get really, really upset when when you do provocative, really provocative titles and thumbs like that. Like I did last week for the I quit one. People got pissed off about that. Okay, so as you might have guessed from the title of this video, I am going to be having a baby. Or more accurately, my wife will be having the baby. I just put it in there. In March of next year, we will be having a baby daughter, which is incredible news. Really genuinely exciting news. It's scary. I am terrified. The joke that the video might be called I'm in trouble is true because it is trouble, but not the bad kind of trouble. Like a little trouble with a little T, perhaps. I don't know. So what is this video? Well, first, let's tell people that that's happening. because I want to share the news because it's exciting. It's fantastic news. And we're so close now with March to being just around the corner. I'm recording this at the beginning of December. That's not true, it's the 30th of November. I lied already. So what this video is going to be is like kind of a channel and life update in a way. Hardly, any, hardly anyone will watch it. But I'm going to be explaining a few things that's happening with the channel, including the sponsors, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to be asking if you want to support me a bit more. That's completely and utterly um, optional. It's not mandatory at all. And I might share some thoughts on the scariness of fatherhood just around the corner. The channel is going strong. It's a bit of a weaker month this month because I put less videos out. But it's I had my best month ever last month. And things are great. The channel is going really well. I've separated out all the wargaming content into another channel. So everything is going strong. However, there are some hiccups here and there. Uh, Ultra Pro no longer sponsored the channel, not for any animosity or anything, but it looks like they're peeling off from sponsoring anyone. They also don't seem to have any people working in the influencer department anymore, so you don't get much talk from them either. Either way, I lost a sponsor that was a, a reasonable chunk of my income each month. On top of that, we've got established titles as a sponsor that's been regular on the channel, coming to huge amounts of hot water. And I decided to sever ties from them, and they decided to cut all sponsors across the entirety of YouTube this month as they pursue a defamation claim, according to their emails. I don't know. But either way, another regular sponsor that was helping to support the channel is now gone. This means we aren't struggling as such, but it does feel like a big hit. Mortgage rates in the UK have doubled, literally doubled. So my mortgage went up by hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I lost sponsors, and now we've got a baby on the way. That's a little bit scary. I'm going to be able to keep on doing what I do, but I really wanted to expand the channel right now, and I'm kind of on a pause with that. I've got uh, Trigger, who's an editor that I've been working with quite a bit, and I do really want to expand to a second editor as well, so I can just put up more content here and on the War Room and really expand what I offer. But there's some things getting in the way. So the first point of order is not to guilt trip you into it, but if you would like to, I have a Patreon link in the description below. My Patreon is like the best way to support the channel. Oh, well, the easiest and cheapest way to support the channel is to subscribe. If you've somehow clicked on this and you're watching and you don't subscribe, please do. Um, there's a large percentage, like 50% of my viewers don't or haven't subscribed. So subscribing helps, but doesn't help financially. Watching my videos does though. If you watch multiple videos a week, thank you so much. But Patreon down below, there's a link. And basically, it's such an easy way to support creators. Each month I put money into supporting creators as well, like Spice 8 Rack and Mystic Studies and similar. Other content creators that I love the stuff they put out. My tiers are all over the place, but the base one that I want to point out, there's, there's two there's two key ones. The $2 one is access to the Discord server where I actually hang out and chat to people. You also get a free altar sleeve every month like this one. This is the Blasphemous Act sleeve for this month that will be available to everyone who signs up before the 4th of November. So you've got four days to sign up to get this one. Comes out in an email, you get free shipping, and you can stick other altar sleeves in with that to get free shipping on those and I get a bit of a kickback on any extra ones you put in the basket too. It's a new sleeve every month with art commissioned by me. On top of that we do run events we'll be running a Kill Team or Warhammer 40k Tabletop Simulator League again and we'll be running a War uh, Magic the Gathering probably Gladiator on Arena as our next league and these are like on and off prizes so the next ones will have prizes usually store credit from Cool Stuff Inc who are a sponsor continue to support the channel and stuff like that. So we have events on there too. And the $25 tier is a tier where I have a call once a weekend and uh, people get to come on who are in that tier and just hang out and we chat the shit. We talk about all things. Video games, Magic the Gathering, Warhammer, food, geography, <laughs> politics sometimes. I know, that's scary, right? And the Spice has helped me to sort of spitball ideas for videos that come out later. In short, Patreon transformed my life and I hope it continues to support me to do what I do, which is to report on magic and talk about magic and play magic and bring you in for the ride and the enjoyment and the fun and also now Warhammer over on the War Room as well, the other channel which will be linked in the description too. There's going to be a whole lot of links down there for you to get involved with this stuff. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that we put together, under the recommendation of several other creators who've had babies by the way in this space and other spaces, we put together a wish list. 
If you look, look in the description below, there'll be an Amazon wish list to a list of things that we will need when the baby comes. This is not me begging, nor is it charity. It's more to help support. So if you don't want to get on the Patreon, or if you're already on there, for example, or you already give me a Twitch channel, whatever it is, if you would like to help by picking up some items that will help us with the baby, considering how expensive children can be and how the climate is changing, then by all means you can. Again, there's no obligation, and I don't want you to feel bad if you can't. Everyone's situation is different. I am but a man-child, and I make content about card games and miniature war games and occasionally video games, and occasionally Mariah Carey and poop jars too, I guess. And I don't feel ready to have a child, but I don't think I ever will. I literally do not think I'll ever feel ready, so I think now, well, wow, this is why we're having it, right? It wasn't an accident. This is why we're doing it now. Because, you know, you might as well just jump into it. you got to give stuff a go, right? I gave this a go and it's going pretty well. Come March, I will be having some time off. I will be having perhaps a month off, hopefully. Minimum two weeks, maybe a month off to help my wife with the child and for us to settle into some sort of rhythm. You've got to remember that I am self-employed. My income comes from ad revenue, sponsorships, sponsors and Patreon. When I take time off and put less videos out, I make less money. Less ad spots, less ads I've seen by you guys on the, on the, on the old YouTubes. I lose money. Same with streaming too. I don't stream that much and the streams of the viewership has dived down Like because I, I keep changing games. I get that. But Twitch is a great bit of income too but it only happens when you go live. You've got to go live to get people to sub especially the people who regularly sub. So anyone who does that I appreciate you and thank you. But you don't get any actual paternity leave like you would for a good paternity package with a company. To be fair paternity packages and paternity leave in general across the world and across the western world is terrible. Like America in particular. You guys are you guys are fucked up. But the point I'm getting at is that I can't take huge amounts of time off. I can take time off interspersed and I will be flexible. That's the great thing about working from home and writing and recording and editing in my own home is that I'll be able to be flexible around my wife and our newborn baby girl. But I can't just jack it all in like some of my friends have suggested. Like, well, it's easier for you. You can just take some time off. Well, I can. But if videos don't get made, the, the, the revenue starts to dry up. I guess Patreon is arguably the only one that doesn't because Patreon doesn't care whether that videos go out or not. It, well, I guess if I don't put videos out, people might stop patroning, but you, you know what I mean. It's not directly dependent upon the release of those videos. So yeah, that's another reason why I'm making this video to say, you know, do you want to support the channel? Ultimately, it's going to be a new and exciting chapter of my life and I can't wait to at least share anecdotes with you all. I don't know how much or if at all the baby will show up in videos. I am an art about putting a scan on screen for the video now, but I've decided against it at the moment. I want to hold fire, I want us to have the baby, and then consider how much she gets to be on social media. I share a lot of my life on social media already, voluntarily of course, and as part of the job. And I've then got to consider, as we come to that bridge, whether to cross it in letting the baby be in social media from an early age. Letting people, you know, see her without... Not con I don't use the word consent because that sounds so harsh, but it kind of is in a way. Got all that. We've got loads of parenting stuff to figure out. Like, I swear a lot of my videos. That's not going to change, by the way. But then how much do I let my child know what I do in my day job? Because by the time they're like 12, they're going to kind of have a good idea that daddy goes into that room and makes videos on the internet. And then I grew up not having a mobile phone till I was in my early teens. But now kids have mobile phones the moment they pop out of the womb. What do we do with that? It's scary. It's new. It's different. But we have a good support network for the most part. At least my wife's family anyway i've pretty much only got my sister so yeah uh i'm rambling now i don't really know what else to say the whole point of this video is just to put it out there share some joy share some happiness share some real positivity and let you know that we're moving into a chapter in our lives that i'm very excited for and should be although stressful very exciting that and give me your fucking money <laughs> I've been Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi, on the internet. There are links down below to all the things I've mentioned already. The second channel, the Patreon, and the Amazon wishlist, if you want to get involved with any of those. Again, you don't have to, but if you do, thank you. And if you already do, genuinely, thank you. You've helped to transform my life and to keep allowing me do, to do the things that I do, which is mainly shouting about shitting myself or coming on the internet. Thank you all to everyone who continues to support me. And the content will continue, but there might be a little bit of a slow up in the new year when it comes to March, for good reason. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Until for now.